Janet Beck uh, stopped some, what was that? Fifth round, sixth round? Yeah, like fifth or sixth, yeah, something like that. Fifth, fifth or sixth round becomes the unified middleweight champion of the world. Yeah. Um, middleweight division is kind of devoid of names. Yeah. You know, Charlo is, you know, coming back now, but he was dealing with his mental health issues. Yeah. Carlos Adamas is coming off of a stoppage win, kind of controversial yeah. against J-Rock. Mm -hmm. um, is Janabic the man in this division, or is it just, you know, I think we he, haven't gotten the fights yet? I think he's becoming the man. We haven't got the fights yet, of course, but I think he's becoming the man. He's, I'm seeing good flashes of him. He don't hit hard like Golovkin. He don't got the same power, but he got that same uh, he leaves that same impression when he when he putting pressure on you. You know what I mean? He got good speed. Not he don't have amazing speed, but he got good speed. He got good rhythm and good timing. He know how to get in and get out. Uh, and he'll crack you with a shot. He got the kind of shot that can stun you. And the better he get at tracking his prey down and chopping at the body, landing that uppercut, landing that straight left hand, that right hook, working behind a good jab, the more dangerous is he he's going to get. Now, if he run into a heavy hitter, somebody who could take him deep waters and hit his ass back, then we'll really find out what he is. But until that day, I think they're going to put the right opponents in front of him to keep feeding him and for him to get sharper, stronger, faster, and, and keep applying the pressure like he's doing. I think he's going to get more and more dangerous uh, if they don't get him in there with like a Adamez or something like that. But again, if you get him in there with a Adamez and he run him over, it's going to boost his confidence even more. But I do like what he do. I like that he can keep his distance. He worked behind the feint. You know I mean, he double his jab. You know what I mean? He set shit up. He And he's sturdy. And he's a big guy. I've seen him in Vegas before. Big guy, man. He don't look like, like he's six foot. He look bigger than that. You know I mean, very strong, fast, athletic. He got a lot with him. He's a lot more loose than Golovkin. Golovkin had his hands up tight, walking you down. This guy's more in and out, jabbing at you, give you a little angle, then he firing a sneaky shot. I like the gentleman. Who you want to see him in the ring with next? I mean, I don't know. Too many floating at 60. Jamal, what are he going to do? He come back to 60. Yeah, Jamal's fighting, what, Benavidez Jr. I mean, I would like to see him against one of them guys. I would like to see him against uh, Adamez. I would like to see him against, uh, you know who I would like to see him in there with? Like, a guy like Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison, some one of them guys. You know I mean, somebody, somebody that can box it, and and, and I want to see him give, give him a real kick. Give Tony Harrison a real eight weeks to get ready, and uh, let's see what happens. He needs somebody that can really box, that can really use the ring, that can punch. You know what I mean, or somebody that's gonna push him. I mean, I don't really know who that is at 160. Ammo Williams, that's a good one. That's good. I mean, some good fights out there. It's some good ones.